Machine put out a new add-on called Curve Machine. We're going to check it out in this one. It's actually pretty useful. What it does is it allows you to work with poly curves a lot easier. But let's just get started by going to Edit Preferences. Normally you would click Install and install the add-on. Uh, so just you know, open the zip file and all that. But uh, let me go ahead and search for it real quick since it's already got it installed. And you'll see that there's Curve Machine right here. Now... This is the thing about it. It has a couple shortcuts you need to keep in mind. They're very similar to Mesh Machine or Machine Tools, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the menu is going to be Y by default. I've changed mine already. Uh, but Blendulate is Control B. Merge to Last is going to be 1. And then uh, Merge to Center is Shift 1. And Connect is Alt 1. That's really all you need to remember for the most part. There's a couple other things you can try changing around if you need to. But it's going to work best with poly curves, but it also works with Bezier curves. So just keep that in mind. We'll play around with all of it here in just a second. But uh, we press Shift A, we create curve. We go up to the top here. You'll see there's a single point poly curve. You can add that now. And that's something that machine has added, I believe, right? And as soon as you add it, it goes into edit mode. So you can actually, you already have it selected. You can move it if you need to. Or you can just press E and start extruding it out. Okay. And so normally when you create a poly curve, this is kind of it. Like you don't have any additional options for these things for the most part. They're actually kind of hard to work with. All this does is fill in the holes that the blender devs left behind. Uh, so you can do things like what he calls blindulate, which is basically a bevel in my opinion. But you can also do uh, double G now to slide. So you can you know, GG twice to slide around. You can do control B to bevel, which is nice. And then uh, you'll be able to eventually merge to last or merge at center, the different points, right? And uh, we'll have connect, gap shuffle, and cyclic curves as well. So let's go ahead and play around with this for a little bit. So we can hit control B. Do that number. Uh, can't do nothing here. Let's go ahead and extrude that out. Control B. You can mouse wheel up and down, by the way. Do that number. Let's say we want these connected, right? So if we make this a cyclic curve, Use the Y key, make it cyclic. You'll see it does this number, but this isn't an actual like segment that we can really do anything with. As a matter of fact, if I come over here and try to bevel this, you'll see we no we can't do that. So this is what's interesting. That menu, go back to the Y menu, you have something called gap shuffle. Okay? You hit gap shuffle and you can mouse wheel up and down now. And you can pick where the gap's going to be created. So if you want it down at the bottom, you can now grab these two segments and you press, uh, whoop, let's do one at a time. Control B, and we can do this number. Right? And so if we ever need to change that for whatever reason, we can as well. Right? So we can do gap shuffle, switch it all around again. Right? And of course we have connect here. If we had uh, curves that were not cyclic, Let's say, uh, yeah, okay, we got two different curves, maybe. Maybe we have one over here, too. And let's just connect these together. That's the basic idea behind that, right? So this is actually pretty interesting because at any point you can select, holding, like, Control, clicking, selecting through it. Uh, we can hit Control b It kind of rebevels it or re um, blindulates it. And you can also just mouse wheel up and down, so you can change the resolution as well. So that's nice. The menu still has depth on it and extrude. So you can create depth, right? You can also uh, extrude it if needed. And you can see you can also set the resolution here for that as well, which is quite nice. All right. And so we can certainly work with this in a number of different ways, but some of the traditional uh, spline or uh, Bezier curve or poly curve tools still work. So like things like tilt, you can hit control T, you can still work with that. You can do Alt-S. Still scale it, right? Change the radius there. And all that fun stuff, right? Okay. So, let's do a Bezier curve. Go into edit mode. Pull this out. Press E, right? Okay. The menu on this, you'll see we have interpolate. So, we could utilize that. That's going to be... Uh, but it says tilt and or radius on selected curve point, right? But we have connect as well and cyclic. But we can also do depth and extrude over here as well. 
The only downside of this one is you'll see once we do that, we have the resolution that we can now adjust, uh, but we don't have the other resolution, which would be nice, but it doesn't exist. So you still have to go to the menu over here and you'll have to tweak it like that. Uh, but we do have extrude as well, which is also pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can see what's going on here with the interpolate. I don't even know if that is necessarily working quite right. Uh, whatever the case, Control T and Alt S. I'll have to play with that one a little bit more and see if I can figure it out. But so there you go. That's uh, pretty much it in a nutshell. But this is a little bit more powerful than you think because there's a lot of um, curves that you can create with an add-on that comes with Blender called Extra Curves, surprisingly. And a lot of these come in as poly curves by default. So you'll see here is if you wanted to create something like a, a knot. We'll do like this knot here. This is what comes in by default. You can set it to poly curve. And now you'll see that we can actually just use the menu for this and change its size or resolution or whatever else we got to do. So there's that. That's fun. But one of my favorites by far is going to be uh, when you create a curve, you do curve spirals. You do arc median. The arc median curve here, you can turn the segments up, turns up, change the height. All right, so this should be pretty familiar. You know, when you're creating things like certain types of cords, like, you know, telephone cables and things like that, or shocks or springs, things like that, right? And so you just create this as a poly curve with this. And now you can literally just give it some depth, no problems. Uh, but why this is so good, oh, that's too much depth. Let's not do that. Let's change that back down. Why this is so good, though, is because normally I want to connect this to like a little uh, single wire sometimes, right? And so now I can just press E, extrude it out, G, move it over. And we might pull it up a little bit. So G and Z in this case. All right, I might press E and Z. And so here you can see what's going to happen, right? I'm going to bevel this, potentially. I'm going to keep it simple for now. But this one here, I might also want to bevel. And I might want to select through this little area here, like that. If I bevel that, you see the one goes to a single point, potentially, right? So we might be able to work with that. Let's see what happens. I was playing around with this earlier, and it was working out quite well, actually. Yeah, you can see exactly what's happening now. Some of this is hard to look at because there's so much stuff going on. You could probably just hide this, right? Just press H. Yeah, so we could probably go through this whole segment now. Hit Control-B. I'm not even going to change it, but there you go. So, yeah, very useful. You can hit Alt-H to bring everything back. Awesome. And because of that, we can now use Proportional Edit and go ahead and set it to Smooth and do Connected Only. When you do Connected Only, it's going to travel down the connections instead of actually working on screen space or whatever. So if I press G and Z, for example, and I mouse wheel up, you see how it starts to pull it apart? All right, so that's really cool. And this would be a lot harder to do if we didn't have that little bit of extra control that the um, the add-on adds. And then, so ultimately, there you go. Now you're able to create things like this among very many other things, I'm sure. And so hopefully you find it interesting if you're interested in add-ons, 10 bucks. I'll put a link on my website under resources. Uh, for Gumroad, and you can check it out there, right? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out in the next one, right? Take care.